In this video we are going to create this awesome website under one hour using wordpress cms okay and this is the exact website i'm talking about and this uh, this website has clean design okay and you can see here okay nice and clean design okay clean animation okay and i'm talking about designing this website under one hour okay it has footer nice little fit footer okay uh, facebook live uh, button page uh, if you have facebook okay social media sharing okay and uh, it has chat option okay you can set from here for example if i say hi okay uh, it will it will be sent to this option over here okay and it says now hi and if i reply hello it will be sent back here right so it is really a cool feature for every modern website because your client need to connect you at the moment right and how uh, it has services pages and uh, clean design for you okay and uh, you can uh, in this video i'm going to create this website and this is just a template okay you can create any type of website uh, by following the step i will be mentioning in this video and with that step that i will be talking about you can create any type of website for your business okay and uh, it has some nice and nice contact or space they can contact your clients can contact your business right away from your website as well okay and i'm uh, talking about creating this website uh, within one hour okay it might take a little bit longer for you because you need to adjust this website as for your business need okay but you won't need any technical skill in order to do that okay you just need a basic computer skill okay you should know how to use computer and you should be able to drag and drop thing okay you should be able to use uh, in fact you should be able to use your mouse only okay that is exact thing okay you don't need to have knowledge about html css and whatsoever okay i'll be uh, not teaching you about all those things because you don't need to create this awesome website okay not only this you can create any type of website uh, with the method that i'm talking about and the first and foremost thing what you need to create this website you need only hosting okay we are inside wordpress dashboard okay so this is what our website uh, looks inside wordpress dashboard and if you click on this home icon uh, this is your website at present okay this is how exactly your website looks at present okay uh, and this is really ugly right and uh, we'll make this a professional and beautiful website okay within uh, maybe 30 minutes okay so st stay tight and we'll get into that really fast uh, now let's go go to plugins uh, and see what plugins this SiteGround has installed for me uh, and it is really important for you to activate this SiteGround optimizer okay you please don't deactivate this plugin okay uh, this is very important plugin for you and but you can deactivate this wordpress starter okay uh, and uh, this one deactivate and apply now we need to install some plugins uh, that we need in order to add functionalities to our website okay and uh, to do that uh, just go to add new plugin you can click here also and the first one we are going to download uh, is Elementor uh, and here we have click on install and the second one uh, that we need is Envato element E-N-V-A-T-O E-L-E-M-E-N-T-S elements and we need to install this one as well and uh, and the third one uh, and this is completely optional for you uh, we need uh, an Elementor Pro plugin as well okay now what we need to do is uh, uh, go to elements and uh, and wha what we need to do is uh, just import some premium templates a uh, free templates kit okay uh, now uh, for this demo website uh, i will uh, be importing uh, this templates okay uh, let's see uh, this is smart insurance okay uh, so i'll just click on install kit and view kit okay uh, what we need to do now is uh, 
I think this uh, as a home page okay let's see how it looks as a home page okay okay this looks awesome okay 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 let's import this templates okay and I uh, this template has been imported successfully and what we need to do now is uh, import other pages as well okay this is variation two for home page okay uh, you can look out check out this thing as well uh, but i have already imported my home page for now right uh, let's look at about us page okay uh, this variation looks good as well uh, let's see how this variation okay uh, i'm going to import the first one import this one and let's see team okay i need to import this one as well let's import that one and the uh, about us and services okay uh, let's see it looks good okay and let's import this one as well services and finally contact us page as well okay uh, let's see this one let's see this one okay i'll be importing contact us page later on so we have imported uh this home page about us page and our team page and our services page okay so these are going to be our uh, website menus and separate pages okay uh, so okay now what we need to do is just go to dashboard and uh, select add plus this uh, click on this plus icon and page okay hover on this plus icon okay and what we need to do now is uh, sorry sorry uh, we need to change this theme first right so because this themes uh, theme looks really ugly and how uh, we can change this theme by just going to appearance and themes and select add new and we are going to search for this uh, really um, powerful theme Astra and this is super lightweight and uh, really fast uh, theme that you I recommend you to use okay and uh, this theme is being installed and activate let's activate this one and uh, we are ready now so just uh, go to plus uh, over this uh, over this plus icon and select page and uh, the first one is going to be our home page right home page and uh, what you need to do is um, just click on add it with Elementor and what we are going to do is uh, import that template okay uh, pages and just go to my templates okay just click on this icon add templates and go to my templates okay uh, so I think uh, I have about us home okay so I'm going to insert this one and no select no and our template has been imported and installed okay uh, so this is how our home page looks at present okay uh, let's say this one okay uh, looks clean okay and fresh and this is what uh, you will like to import okay uh, okay this looks really cool right 
okay you have imported uh, this template after importing uh, this template okay any template that you like from in to market okay because uh, your uh, your company uh, that you are uh, trying to build a website for okay uh, might uh, not be uh, uh, insurance company okay uh, it will be really uh, helpful if there that was insurance company okay but you have plenty of option from invito elements okay you can choose any type of templates okay right uh, for example if you if you have a company about uh, you know uh, barbershop okay if you have barbershop you uh, you can have option for uh, that as well okay if you are dermatologist okay you can install kit okay from here right so if you uh, are, are a restaurant owner okay you you have option for restaurant or owner as well okay just go to next page or you can uh, search for restaurant okay right okay uh, you can select from from category as well right so just uh, select food and drink if you are a uh, restaurant owner just select on category and food and drink and you have option for here uh, uh, Mexican Mexican restaurant right uh, American restaurant uh, restaurant cafe okay uh, so you have option here right so you can import that template and after importing this okay you have plenty of option to edit this one okay for example uh, just hover over this okay and uh, you have uh, if you uh, if your insurance company name is uh, oclip uh, insurance okay for example o c l i p s e right so you can change uh, this text from here right or you can change uh, this text from here as well and what you can also do is uh, just go to style okay and change text color as well okay so for example if you want green okay you can change that as well uh, if you want to increase this uh, text size okay you can do that as well okay just go to style okay title and go to typography okay you can change this style okay uh, size okay it has option okay you can uh, transfer uh, it to uppercase okay uh, transform okay make the weight little less right uh, you can uh, style this one uh, as you like okay you can increase line height okay you can increase letter spacing okay if you want to delete this section entirely okay you can do that as well right so just click on this icon and delete okay and uh, you can report that back by clicking on ctrl z or uh, just go to history and uh, just click on this one right so you can do that uh, you have plenty of option here uh, or if you want to add uh, a separate section here you can just click on this icon and uh, duplicate this one and uh, what you need to do is just delete this one and delete this one right so you have option here for separate column and here you can add uh, image as well right just uh, drag just drag and drop this image okay and um, it will be there for you right so just uh, click on this delete icon and uh, if you want to add image on side okay uh, you can do that right uh, and if you want to add video you can do that as well right so just need to drag and drop this video here right so it's up to you how you style uh, this uh, template okay uh, and you have plenty of flexibility to do that right so you can do that uh, and if you want to change uh, this uh, background image okay just go to this edit section and just go to advance uh, sorry style and you have image here okay you can change uh, just click on that and if you want to change that image to any okay for example this one you can do that as well right so 
this is how it works right so you can do that uh, for now I'm just going to select this image right now right so you can change this uh, image as well just click uh, just uh, uh, hover over this okay and just go to style and you can change this image as well right so just need to know under which section okay this image belongs to right so this is this image is inside this section for section uh, edit column uh, inside this first column and uh, you can change this headline okay just hover over it and just click on that and you can change this one and you can change this one as well okay and to you know for example uh, your uh, if you have separate page for services okay uh, and you can add button here and just click on that and and what you can do is uh, you can insert a custom link link okay maybe a link to your services page right so you can do that and uh, you can also change all this text okay and uh, what you can also do is uh, you have flexibility uh, to you know add a separate column a uh, separate section over this okay okay and just need to click on this add section and uh, if you want to add templates okay that's fine okay you can uh, enter a free blocks as well okay for example if you want to add services of, uh, let's see services and if you want to add this services just click on insert and there you have right services and uh, you can insert everything okay and uh, you can uh, even delete this one you can just click on right click on and delete right just click on this uh, section and right click on your mouse and you can delete the, this one you can inf even um, edit text okay uh, if you if you want to edit this icon you have option for you right so this is how it works guys okay uh, uh, you can change all this everything okay uh, even image okay and you can even have option to delete this one okay entire section you can delete this one okay and this one uh, you have uh, option to delete uh, entire section as well just click on delete section right so you can have that option as well and you have option for to do this all uh, flexibility to do all this thing right so after completing after designing your uh, home page you can say click on this publish icon and uh, your uh, home page will be published okay so if you go to um, and this is uh, your home page right so we want to add uh, other pages as well uh, so in order to do that just go to wp admin okay your site slash wp admin and we have added uh, first page okay just go to pages and uh, we have added the first page um, i think we don't need this privacy policy and sample page okay for now we'll just go to click on uh, select those and move to trash right so in order to add next page just click on add new and this is going to be our services page right services and click uh, edit with elementor okay i uh, already have imported template for that as well and i have my templates and insert this one and our services uh, templates has been imported and uh, what you need to do is uh, okay you can just simply edit this one okay everything okay uh, you can you know add uh, or edit this one okay if you want to duplicate this entire section you can have option for that just go, click on this entire section and duplicate okay just click uh, so over over this section okay uh, on this edit section and right click and dupli duplicate and you, you, there will you will have a uh, identical section for that you can uh, uh, edit uh, the background image okay you can edit this 
one okay and this one uh, and you can uh, simply uh, you know add uh, family insurance okay if you have separate page for family insurance okay you can add link to that okay you have to insert link on this link okay uh, so everything is self-explanatory okay and uh, you can add travel okay you have that option as well okay so after completing everything uh, just click on save uh, publish page and your page will be live okay this will look how this page looks now okay and this is how our page uh, looks now right now okay let's go home and this is how our home page looks right now right this is really uh, a professional website this looks like a professional website designed by professional builder uh, and uh, you have that option right and uh, I'm just going to repeat the same step okay uh, i'm going to add uh, i think uh, about us page and uh, contact us page as well okay so this is our contact us page okay uh, what you can do is uh, just select invite elements and select free blocks and i think we have contact page okay uh, we have uh, several contact page okay uh, for now I'm just uh, going to select uh, maybe uh, this contact page looks fine okay I'm just going to insert this one okay okay we have uh, uh, inserted uh, our contact us page what you can do is just uh, hover over uh, this uh, map okay uh, and just click on edit okay and you can uh, insert your custom location as well okay in, in here okay for example if you are based on uh, New York okay New York company okay you can add your uh, street address and something like that okay for example uh, for example clockhouse community center okay London okay if you if your website is based on uh, uh, on this location you can add that right and uh, regarding this uh, address okay you can just hover over this icon uh, uh, of this section above this section and you can uh, add your custom uh, link okay you can change this link uh, uh, your uh, location from here as well right and uh, you can uh, edit this one from here as well and you can insert your uh, username facebook account and you can also add link okay uh, you have option uh, for that as well okay uh, just add twitter link uh, and instagram link and you can do all this thing okay and just after doing this all thing uh, just save and publish okay and uh, we are ready to go now okay uh, so after completing after designing every pages of your website uh, just go to wp admin and what we need to do is add all those pages uh, to our menu bar right so just go to appearance and menu we have created four pages so uh, i want to create new menu main menu and create menu and uh, just i'm going to add four pages which are going to be present on our website right so select all those pay, uh, pages and add to menu okay uh, this is going to be our menu okay uh, and select the home page at the top services uh, below it okay you just need to drag and drop okay in wordpress uh, everything is all about dragging and dropping right so just do that and save menu and don't forget how uh, to add this menu as primary menu okay that is very important okay this is this is going to be shown on your primary menu bar okay and let's go to our website uh, before doing that we need to uh, you know edit this home page okay to do that just uh, we need to you know make uh, this home page as default page okay uh, now uh, this home page is not default okay if you type your website address uh, this uh, home page is not going to be shown on your first page as a first page uh, to do to uh, you know to address that problem okay you need to go to uh, settings and uh, reading and uh, your 
home page displays okay you need to select this static one and we need to select home okay sorry home and post page name default as it is and uh, in to click on save changes and uh, if you now click on this home icon home page okay is uh, is the default page that is showing to be, is going to be shown okay right so so if you you know um, type in your website address uh, this is go, uh, this is the page that is going to be shown right so everything looks good for now okay we have uh, created these four pages and what you need to do now is we need to add this uh, edit this footer icon a uh, footer thing okay uh, and how uh, we need to add our company logo right so in order to do that just go to customize and global and uh, sorry uh, header uh, just go to header and site identity and uh, just go to header and site identity and select this one and we need to upload file right so this is my uh, logo right so this is a uh, clean and awesome logo uh, uh, i hired uh, someone from fiverr.com in order to create this logo uh, just looks good okay for me and uh, our logo has been uploaded and you can change logo width as well and uh, what you can also do is uh, uncheck this okay uh, display site title icon okay so everything looks good and fine and uh, what you need to do is just click on publish right so you can have other option and you can have option for transparent header as well okay for example if you do transparent header uh, your website will look similar to this okay? okay you have this transparent header okay so in order to change uh, this menu uh, menu this menu color uh, you can go to transparent header and you can just select menu and uh, you can change uh, from here as well right so you can uh, select red background color and you can also select white as well right so this is it uh, so you can do that as well so i'm going to slip this uh, background color uh, of this menu item white and what you need to do is uh, i think i need to you know add some overlay over this uh, image uh, so in order to do that just i need to go to home page and add it with elementor so in order to add some uh, background overlay so we need to click on this section edit section and uh, just go to style okay and uh, you have option for your uh, background overlay and we need to change this classic and we need to add just this, some color okay uh, maybe black looks good because we have uh, menu color uh, white right uh, and let's add some background overlay right here and update changes and uh, let's see how our website looks at present so this is how our website is looking at present uh, other thing that you can do is just go to header and site identity and here you can change uh, site title for example Oclips is going to be our site title and you can add tagline here as well okay smart insurance right and select uh, click on publish and uh, your site title will be published now uh, and and you can see here Oclips is smart insurance so this is going to be our site title right so other thing uh, that we need to do finally is add our custom footer right so in order to add our custom footer we need to go back to our dashboard dashboard and uh, just select on L, uh, templates and uh, add new ok 
okay so we need to go to templates okay and add new and select type to footer and just uh, add uh, name of footer footer one is going to be our template of footer so what you need to do now is uh, okay uh, just uh, add uh, you can uh, design your custom footer as well but for this video I am going to use free blocks provided by Invato elements and I need to select footer and these are the some examples of footer that you can use uh, and they are free to use okay for example in this video I am going to use uh, this footer looks good and this is our footer okay uh, this will be our footer icon and uh, you can add uh, about custom thing about your company you can add pages okay uh, you can um, edit this pages link so in order to edit this pages link you can go to uh, you can just click on this item and uh, add custom link which would refer uh, your visitors to other pages of your website as well right so this is so simple and easy to do and you can add your custom items with elementor as well for example if you want to uh, you know delete this section and uh, maybe add your facebook like box okay you can do that okay just click on that and search facebook uh, facebook page okay you can add facebook page here as well okay so you can do that and uh, you can add just this height okay uh, so our facebook page uh, is also added okay you can add pictures okay gallery okay you can delete all the section and add your custom um, section as well okay and now we are going to publish this and what we are going to do is add condition and we are going to publish this uh, footer in entire website okay so you can uh, add uh, uh, this footer on particular um, page as well but i am going to insert it in entire website and i am going to save and close and let's refresh this page refresh this page and we have our footers okay uh, inserted at the bottom right so you can do this okay so you can add a co custom copyright icon of, uh, as well okay uh, so in order to do that you can add uh, you know at the bottom of page uh, uh, you can add new section and add heading and you can uh, write here copyright and uh, all that sorts of thing right so let's write copy copyright 2020 of clips right so you can add this and uh, you can similarly add similar so you can uh, add custom color similar to above okay in the entire section and just need to update this one and your footer will be updated need to refresh this one and uh, this is updated okay so you you need to, you just need to uh, you know add uh, and customize all this template according to your need okay so this is how it works in Elementor with Elementor with uh, I have shown you how to import template and use the ready-made template uh, in your website okay I have not uh, taught you how to uh, you know do custom design to your website but in most of the case you won't need that because there are already uh, lots of template available uh, that are that's will suit your business okay you don't have to design on your own okay most of the time i use ready-made template but uh, even if i have to do custom design okay first of all what i do is uh, i import the suitable template that i need okay for example i imported this template okay uh, if i if i was designing a website for uh, for you know any insurance company okay i imported this template okay and i might uh, need to change uh, this uh, headline okay and the uh, you know this slogan okay and i might need to change uh, the link uh, which goes to uh, to the video okay uh, if they have youtube uh, 
video introduction about their company i need to insert a custom link here okay just click on that and insert a custom link uh, that will take the visitors uh, to the uh, youtube link okay uh, that will uh, contain the video about that side okay so if you okay and uh, if i need to change this text uh, if i need to change this image over here okay what i do is just uh, click on uh, this uh, section okay uh, this is uh, this column sorry and we need to click on this edit column and we need to find where this image okay this is uh, an image by background i think and i just go to style and change that the image okay if uh, i if we, i need to remove this section completely okay if that is not the right thing for me uh, i what i do is i just uh, click on this delete icon uh, and entire section will be deleted right so you can do that right and how uh, and if you if you want to add a new section okay uh, if uh, if you if this section is not right for you right uh, what you can do is uh, just click on uh, this uh, plus icon and you can add a new section here for example if you want to include a uh, services okay uh, something about services if you want to tell something about company services okay you can uh, go to free blocks okay and there are lots of uh, available templates uh, that are ready made for you okay so if you want to you know, insert uh, for example pricing table okay they do have pricing table as well right so you can just uh, click on this insert uh, template okay and uh, your uh, template will be imported okay depending upon your internet speed and here we have uh, this template has been imported right and this is super simple and super easy okay and uh, uh, in most of the time in 90 percent of the cases you don't uh, need to design uh, uh, design custom make a custom design but however the you can also design uh, your custom section okay uh, so for that you just need to click on this plus icon add section okay we are adding new section here and we we have to click on this plus icon add new section and you have to uh, choose your section structure okay for example uh, if you want to add uh, image um, on the right hand side and something description about that image okay for maybe a message from chairman of the company uh, so you can do that just add two uh, two columns okay columns uh, i create uh, a new section with two columns and what you need to do is uh, for example uh, the, you want to add image okay you just have to drag and drop this right and uh, you can change this image okay you can upload files okay uh, from your hard drive uh, or uh, you can uh, just uh, simply uh, select image okay if you have already uploaded one right and uh, what you can also do is you have plenty of option here okay you can uh, you can add uh, change this image size okay uh, and you can add just alignment you have even option for width height and a uh, ton of option here right uh, you can add just border radius okay uh, and sky is the limit for this elemental plugin because this is super uh, uh, flexible and easy to use okay it provides you with uh, in fact everything that you need uh, in order to design a custom website right and uh, you have uh, advanced option here you know, from advanced option okay you can add just margin margin okay the spacing around this image okay um, you know, for example margin is uh, you know oh, the space uh, uh, around this entire section okay and padding is the uh, space around this image okay for example let's uh, add margin of 10 okay and uh, this uh, this 10 uh, 10 pixel has been added to every every side okay uh, 10 pixel has been added to every side of this column okay of this column okay uh, and uh, uh, if if i add uh, 10 pixel uh, on this image uh, this uh, 10 pixel has been added uh, 10 uh, pixel space has been added around this image only okay not uh, around this column okay that is the difference between that uh, and you can also of course have um, option to uh, add custom um, spacing around each section okay top uh, right left okay if you want if you don't want to add uh, padding on the left hand side you can do that right so there is now no space okay you just have to click on this link hello together okay you have to uncheck this one okay uh, and that uh, how it works right and uh, 
I can uh, explain every other features okay you need to test out this all features okay you, I cannot explain all these features in one video right and uh, and you can just have to play uh, around it if you want to learn more about it okay uh, but uh, if you want to add more section okay you have just have to click on this menu icon right and uh, for example if you want to add description to this uh, person right and you can do that just click on drag and drop this text editor okay uh, just uh, drag and drop this text editor editor and of course you have option here okay uh, to you know add custom description about this um, person or whatever you are talking about right and uh, what you can do here is uh, you have option for uh, typography okay uh, and this is the content okay and this uh, this option here okay uh, is the styling uh, this contains everything about styling the uh, content uh, that you are uh, dealing with right and uh, just go to style and what you can do is you have option here to adjust text color and you can uh, make this green okay uh, you, uh, you can do that and how uh, you can also uh, adjust typography and you can increase the size okay and you can adjust font family okay you can add weight height and transform and style okay decoration and all this uh, sorts of thing okay you have plenty of option here okay i cannot explain everything uh, in one video uh, and uh, just increase this height okay uh, sorry size just need to make a little bit more and uh, you can increase this column back gap also okay uh, and you can also do margin okay you can add margin around this uh, around this uh, section uh, sorry uh, around this element uh, uh, that you are dealing with it eh? okay and uh, if you want to add button okay you have option for that right and you just need to drag and drop this button okay uh, for example let's drag and drop this down here okay you have this button right you can uh, make it center okay um, and make uh, try to make it left okay if you want to oh, 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 add this button at the uh, uh, right a uh, little bit right uh, towards right uh, and you can do that by just uh, adjusting this uh, pa margin or padding okay for example if you want to uh, uh, bring this button little bit towards left uh, you can uh, adjust uh, you can make this uh, sorry you can always have this option to make uh, uh, bring it to little bit towards right okay uh, if you want to bring this button little bit towards left okay you can do that you have option for that okay you can just adjust this padding margin okay now you just uh, need to uh, play around this uh, the, this thing right and uh, you have that option okay uh, inside the styling also you have option for text color background color okay you can add just border radius border type okay padding margin okay you have all this option for here okay uh, and this is just a beginning okay and uh, with elementor and elementor pro you have lot of option here okay you have uh, everything that you need uh, in order to create a professional website okay you can have click box uh, let's see how this will looks at present uh, so this is like flip box okay uh, and uh, even uh, inside flip box okay you can adjust uh, everything okay you can adjust uh, uh, this styling okay uh, you can adjust this icon okay you can even adjust this background color okay you can remove this uh, even you can remove this uh, button okay you just need to what you need to do is just uh, delete this okay uh, if you need to delete this button okay uh, this is the back side of this uh, play box i think and uh, what you need to do is uh, you have this button text right you just need to delete this one and entire button will be deleted okay right away okay if you don't need that button right and uh, if you don't need this uh, description or heading okay you can delete that as well okay you can add image okay what you need to do is just go to background and uh, uh, just uh, add uh, go to classic and uh, add your custom image okay and you can do that uh, and uh, and that is it right uh, so just need to play around this thing 
okay just it takes uh, it, of course it takes little bit okay while okay but with uh, templates okay uh, that are ready made and available for for you can uh, create a professional website uh, in a matter of maybe uh, three to four hours okay it takes maximum time okay if you are using templates and adjusting things around okay uh, just need to find the right item and just need to change this okay this is super simple and super easy okay everything is just drag and drop and just need to hover over the element okay that you want to change okay just click over it and if you want to change text okay you can do that okay if you want to change everything okay for example if you want to change, change this icon color or icon button even okay you can change that okay you can just uh, you just need to hover over it and in the in the uh, left hand side uh, you have this option here right and uh, you can do that uh, and everything is looking good and fine uh, just need to change everything okay so in if you want to change this element okay you just need to click on this uh, uh, pencil icon okay edit google maps okay or you if you want to change this okay uh, you just need to uh, click on this pencil icon okay just need to need to do that okay so for example this is i think uh, this uh, uh, this blue color blue color is and column okay by uh, by its appearance okay uh, you, we can say that uh, say that it is a column okay but it has some uh, margin uh, margin uh, i think margin negative margin at the top okay you can see that you can uh, see, uh, see that it has negative margin at the top okay so the, so it is uh, you know a little bit above this entire column uh, 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 because it has negative margin right so you can uh, say that okay uh, and how uh, you and this of course this map also has negative margin therefore it is appearing little bit above this original size of this column right and uh, and you can do uh, and here uh, for in order to edit this element you just need to click on this pencil icon okay and just see okay uh, and just uh, uh, and uh, just need to edit uh, click on this pencil icon just need to click on this pencil icon and you have control over uh, everything okay so if you want to change uh, this background uh, color of this column okay you need you need to change this edit uh, you need to change this in edit column section okay but if you want to change uh, everything that is inside this uh, element okay you need to change this okay you need to click on this uh, edit say edit uh, testimonial okay and you need to change that one right and uh, everything is look great and fine okay for now and uh, i think uh, i i got the point okay uh, and uh, and this is it guys okay and um, uh, as a bonus uh, i'll show you how you can add uh, a live uh, video uh, sorry a live chat feature uh, on to your website and that is very, very super important for any business uh, around right and uh, let's do that so in order to uh, add live chat option uh, you need to just go to this uh, sorry just go to this uh, crisp grips dot chat okay i'll just uh, click on this get started and you need to enter your details so just click on uh, this go discover my dashboard okay and you have everything uh, you need here okay and uh, so we are trying to uh, add uh, a Crips pol plugin Crips pol plugin uh, onto our website okay and to do that we just go to plugin and add new and search for Crips and we have this plugin uh, Crips live chat just click on activate and connect to Crips continue now you have option uh, for go to my Crips setting and uh, you have option for inbox and everything okay now if I go to my website and you have this little icon over here and this is the live Crips chat option okay for example hello I'm typing hello and I will uh, get the matches over here okay uh, and uh, it says hello and uh, I say hi okay and inside my website okay I can see this right so this is the live chat option okay that is uh, it's, uh, optional for you okay you can integrate uh, with this plugin okay and what you can also do is you can uh, create your custom avatar okay just uh, go to home just need to view my profile 
so in order to change the uh, change your avatar uh, you need to, you just need to go to settings and uh, what you need to do is uh, just go to account and here you have option for uh, choosing your custom avatar right uh, so i am going to select my custom avatar so i'll uh, click on this uh, upload this picture and i have everything ready now and if i refresh this page and i have set option over here and i can see my face right and uh, you can um, change your custom avatar okay and that is completely option for you uh, and uh, so this much for today guys and we have created this awesome website 